You can't gang! So this is an ABAS model. We're in an inflationary gap. Does anybody have any questions? I love it. What's up, Econ Gang? Today we're going to go over Comparative Advantage and Trade, Module 4. Let's go ahead and start off with gains from trade. So trade is uh, individuals in an economy exchange goods or services to each other. So uh, you trade your goods or your services in exchange for a good or a service. For, for example, most of you guys do chores around the house. You exchange your time doing those chores and your manual labor doing those chores in exchange for money right? And then you can take that money and you trade that money to somebody for a good. So you go to McDonald's, you buy a Big Mac, you are exchanging or trading that dollar that you have that you've earned, or the, the, the money you earned for the chores that you completed. Now, gains from trade is able to gain more through trade, instead of producing it themselves. This just basically means that instead of trying to produce all the products, you're going to pick the products that you are good at producing. And you're going to trade those products because you can make a lot more of them to other countries that are good at maybe producing products that you are not good at producing. So for example, if the United States was really good at producing oranges, they could trade oranges to Mexico, which is really good at producing avocados, and they could trade those two goods, right? Now, specialization is when you produce what you are better produce at producing, meaning the United States, from the example we just used, the United States, they would specialize in oranges while Mexico would produce, specialize in avocados, right? Now, here I have an example of a comparative advantage table where we have Daniela and Joaquin. Uh, they both own a company, a lawn mowing company. One pulls weeds while the other one mows backyards. Uh, we can see here that Daniela can mow three backyards while she can fill five bags of weeds in the same time frame. So we'll just put a, an hour time frame on this. So in an hour, Daniela can mow three lawns. Daniela can also pull five bags of weeds. Joaquin, on the other hand, he uh, works for the same company, right? And he can mow four lawns in an hour while pulling two bags of weeds. So he can either pull the bags of weeds or he can mow the four lawns. Uh, Daniela can either mow the three lawns in the hour or pull the five bags of weeds. Now we look at who has an absolute advantage and this is the first thing that we would do, right? And we would look to see who can produce more of the particular goods. So here, if we're looking at mowing lawns, which number is bigger, Daniela's or Joaquin's? Well, Joaquin can mow four lawns in an hour while Daniela can only mow three. So that would mean that Joaquin has the absolute advantage in mowing lawns. Here at pulling weeds, Daniela has the absolute advantage because she has she can pull more weeds in that hour than Joaquin can in the hour, right? So that would be the absolute advantage. Comparative advantage is who can produce more of a good at a lower opportunity cost. So how do we determine what the opportunity cost is? Well, we can use uh, other goes over. And so you're going to take the value of the other good and put it over and make it into a fraction. So for Daniela, if we're looking at Daniela, one would equal five thirds of pulling weeds, right? And to get the opposite side, you just need to take the reciprocal or flip the fraction, right? So here on the opposite side, pulling weeds, you get one for a three fifths of a mowing a lawn. And then for Joaquin, same thing, we're going to take the pulling weeds, put that over mowing lawns. So two over four gives us half. So one over or one mowing lawn equals half of pulling weeds. And then on the opposite side, you take the reciprocal or you just flip the fraction. And that's going to give you one equals two. So one bag of pulling weeds is going to equate to two lawns that they've given up. And that's their opportunity cost, the value on the right side. So who has the lower opportunity cost in mowing lawns and pulling weeds? So you look at which value is smaller. So in mowing lawns, we'll just isolate that and just look at the just mowing lawns. And we see that half is smaller than five thirds. So in that case, for mowing lawns, Joaquin has a lower opportunity cost. Now, pulling weeds, 
Daniela has the lower opportunity cost. Her opportunity cost is three fifths, while Joaquin's is two. So that in that case, Daniela would have the lower opportunity cost. So she would be the one pulling weeds, while Joaquin would be the one mowing lawns. Now, mathematically, you can only have the comparative advantage in one, right? You cannot have the comparative advantage in both. So here, Joaquin cannot have the comparative advantage in mowing lawns and pulling weeds. He, it's either got to be mowing lawns or pulling weeds. Now, that's different from absolute advantage. Absolute advantage is just who produces more of that particular good. And you can have an absolute advantage in both goods. Who should specialize in mowing lawns and who should specialize in pulling weeds? Well, that's whoever has the lower opportunity cost. So Joaquin can mow lawns while Daniela can pull weeds. Now, terms of trade. Now, if both Joaquin and Daniela want to trade out their services in the company that they work for, or if they're two separate countries and they want to trade out mowing lawns for or for pulling weeds, or if they produce two particular products. So like Daniela produces blankets while Joaquin produces uh, TikTok videos. Well then, and they want to trade those two goods and these numbers, these values are the same then you need to figure out what's going to work out for both countries. And how you do that is you just isolate the one side of the equation, right? Or one side of the table. And here we're just going to look at pulling weeds that's circled. And you'll see any value that will work is one bag of pulling weeds for any mowing lawn. Any, in, you just pick any number between three fifths and two and that will work for that terms of trade. So one mowing lawns for one pulling weeds is going to work, or again, any mowing lawn for any value between uh, three fifths and two. So any number that you pick will work out. And so that's going to end it for us today for module four. I wanna thank you guys for listening to this video. I hope it was helpful. If you could please subscribe to my channel and hit like if you enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful. Uh, also, if you have a comment or any suggestions, please leave them in the comment box. Uh, thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Peace.